Hey Rockers, Eric Andreas, your guitar sage here for another surf treat for you. Today we are learning Pipeline by The Ventures and a bazillion others, but I think The, I think the Ventures are the first one that did it. But guess what? You'll let me know if I'm wrong, as people do on YouTube. They let me know if I'm stupid or not. So thank you for that. Seriously, thank you. Um, all right, so here we go. We're going to learn Pipeline. Um, that first part here I'm going to show you, and then there is another part. I'm going to show you that too. Okay, so this song is primarily, when I say primarily, I mean entirely in the key of E minor. And um, let me show you some bits, tricks, and stuff like that that you're going to need for this. First off, you want your amp to be very clean sounding um, if you're going to have any overdrive at all might be just a fraction but really you want it to be very very clean and preferably single coil pickups not humbuckers because they just compress too much um, you want a nice clean uh, thinner sound when you're picking it's going to make more sense tonally for you to be closer to the bridge reason being is you'll get this sort of sound if you're closer towards the neck and as you get closer towards the bridge, you get a brighter sound like that. It becomes darker over here, okay? So closer to the bridge is gonna give you a brighter sound and that's also very reminiscent of surf guitar, any surf guitar tune. Uh, and this one, there's, they're doing some right hand muting which is where you're taking your palm and resting it on the strings just right past the bridge here. If you need help with some right hand muting here on YouTube, type in your guitar sage right hand muting and I'll teach you some stellar ninja tricks for doing that, okay? Okay, so, and in the beginning of this bit here, there is this fun bit. And so we're not playing any specific scale, it's just chromatically moving down with our first or second finger here, starting around the 12th fret. And you're just, which is a very common thing done in surf guitar. So learn it and use it, okay? All right, first lick, you're gonna put your first finger here at the second fret of the A string, and you're gonna to toggle back and forth between the open E and the G while you mute. So you're going to do this. It's strings six and five, and you're just going back and forth between them. And each time you're going to put your second finger down here on the G, like this. So there's a few different ways you can pick this. You could pick the first note up and the next one down. makes it a little bit faster than picking all down. You're gonna have to move quicker, okay? Okay, so that's the bit in the beginning and then our melody goes like this. Okay, and that's all on strings five and four. So I'm gonna pick over here so you can see. So we're, we're at the second fret here of the fifth string. Okay, easy enough. That's all second and fourth fret, uh, zero, second and fourth, okay? But you can rewind that part here if you need help. And then you're gonna, once you have that lick, you're gonna take that exact lick and move it down one string. So now we're on strings three and four and play the same fingering, same picking whole nine yards. Okay. 
Okay? And then with that really fast picking that we did there in the beginning, you're going to do this. Okay? And so for a split second, you're underneath the note like... Okay, and then when it switches, it just bumps up, so... Okay, so it does that one, two, three, four times. And then we got... And so here, this is between seven and five on the, on the E string, and five and three on the E string, and you're just doing that consistent 16th note pattern while you're muting, okay? So there's a lot of stuff going on here. Um, if you're new to guitar, I don't expect you to just jump in and do this right away. You probably need some help. Um, if you do, I have a ton of resources for you that you can find all over the web. Here's a few places that you can get it. At yourguitarsage.com, I've got a free ebook. It's chock full of goodness. Uh, will make your mom proud if you get it. So go get it. Link is below this video. And it will help a ton with understanding the guitar, uh, theory, um, chords, just the whole nine yards. And it's free. Um, also, when you get that book and you sign up for the list, I will give you my books that I charge money for. I will give them to you for free as I write them. So I do this for all of my folks that are on, in my email list. I let them know about this um, about my new books as I write them, and you get to get them for free. Okay, so here we go. Um, I have something else I'll tell you about in a minute, another video course that I'll tell you about in just a minute here, but let's, let's jump back into the song here. So, um, after the... and then we're back into that, that lick again, okay? And then we're back into the verse again. Okay, and then back into the whole nine yards. Now, there is a second part to this that I will tell you about in just a second because there's one thing I just forgot to tell you about, about tone. And I'm hearing it. If you don't have reverb on your amp, you're going to not have a very good sounding surf guitar. Here's what it would sound like without the reverb. Real boring, right? So you got to have some reverb, also known as reverb. Who calls it reverb? My mom. So, um, so that sounds like surf guitar, right? We're surfing now. So make sure you turn your reverb up to about 11. Now, nah, mine's probably sitting at like eight or nine right now, but lots of reverb. So it sounds like that, lots of reverb, okay? Okay, so make sure you got that. Now the second, or I should say the third part of this song goes, That's it, and then we're back into the verse again. So here, let me show you how this goes. You're gonna be at the fifth position, which means your first finger's at the, first, at the fifth fret. And this is all, this whole entire lick is on strings three and four, okay? The three and four, the two middle strings, that's what you got, okay? Also known as D and G. And so it's gonna go like this.
And then you would repeat that whole musical motif, a motif being a musical idea, repeat it over again so that whole thing happens twice. Okay, and then the last time it ends right there, which is the first fret of the G. Okay, so it's gonna go. And then back into the beginning of the song again, right? Easy, super easy, okay. If you need more help with guitar, check out the unstoppableguitarsystem.com. We have tons of folks in this program. This is a, a soup to nuts. I don't never, never knew what that expression meant. It's basically everything that you would need to know about guitar. I think currently I have 250 some odd videos in there. These are the videos that when I teach my students one-on-one, -on -one, these are the videos. This is the material that I would teach to them that I am teaching to them, but I I've created a step-by-step -step course that I have folks coming into that have had lessons for years, have worked with different people, uh, folks that have started from scratch, and people are having tons of success learning the guitar through this system. Um, check it out, unstoppableguitarsystem.com. There is a video series there that you can't find anywhere else on the internet, not even here on YouTube, so check that out. Um, if you have any questions about this song or any other song, please hit me up at Facebook or Twitter. Links are below. Get that free ebook. If you like cats and dogs like I do, please spay and neuter. Don't trust the man. Eat your veggies. See ya. <laughs>